Hello folks and welcome back to another episode on FM21 Beta with Manchester United and um, we're carrying straight on from the last episode. We didn't manage to get two games in last episode so I do apologise for that but however we are going to be playing two games today. Well in fact probably about three, one off camera but you will see the results afterwards because we're going to be playing Tottenham today and we're going to play Burnley with the uh, Stoke Carabao Cup in between off camera right okay let's uh move on let's uh i don't think there's anything happened since the last episode where we moved on there's a couple of players that we are kind of looking at looking to shift as well uh, nothing really uh changing here dan james has gone to uh Freiburg out on loan i think that is the only difference uh since the last episode so at the moment we are still looking at a couple of players Always trying to hope that the director of football is actually going to be signing, hopefully, one of these. We have got a director of football as well, by the way. Uh, still not sure he's going to be actually in charge, but Woodward is uh, the overall chap. Uh, Alibert, we are looking for uh, end of contract transfer, but again, it all depends on Woodward. These are the uh, players that I would like. Any one of them will do nicely. I just hope he's going to do something. Um, he might even pick somebody totally different, totally random. I don't know. To the side that is going to be placing Tottenham then. So we've got De Gea in goal. We've got Wan-Bissaka, Lindelof, Maguire and Tellers at the back. And Diddy in the DM role. We've got Pogba, Van der Beek, Bruno and then Rashford and Martial up front this time. Fred, I was tempted to bring in for Pogba. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, Van der Roem's out on the bench as well. Greenwood, Cavani, Shaw, Matic. Matic as well. Might even give him a game th uh, this time as well. We are the only team playing, so let's go straight into the tacticals. The one that goes cautious, I uh, don't think so. Increase duties, use tighter marking. We could do that, just do that and make a couple of changes. Again, they just want to switch players around. Probably Ra with Cavani for Rashford. That's the only thing. But apart from that, well, let's move into the team selection. We know all about that. We've just gone through it. Let's submit this team then, boys. Uh, straight into uh, there's a lot of screens to go through before you actually physically get to the game so which is annoying <laughs> but it is kind of nice because you get to see get to do all of this so let's go straight to the game team talks then i guess is going to be coming up next so hopefully they're all going to be happy so Mourinho has picked loris doherty elderweld uh, sanchez regulon dyer ali holberg ba bales playing and son and kane very uh very tough forward line there uh, De Gea looks great right now. He's fit and ready to roll. One Bissaka isn't ready for a match like this. We don't have anybody else at right back, I'm afraid. If they want to stay. If you want to pick up where we left off last time, let's pump the fists. And um, right, okay. Praise. See him all right with that, okay. That seems a little bit better. Van der Beek's just composed. Same with Tellers as well. They're not. They're not really that interested with the pumping fists, are they? Right, straight into the tunnel. Um, we'll send the assistant to this. Let him deal with all of that as we crack on, coming out onto the Tottenham pitch. We are away from home, folks, and we are off. Let's have a. Let's see what happens then, shall we? There's a lot of things happening. Uh, we should encourage, um, I guess. We should have. Uh, we should be one nil up by now. Bell on with the throw in. Doherty. He's going to play all the way back. So it seems a little bit slow, doesn't it? Let's. Uh, well, we'll leave it as it is for the time being. Bale, uh, Delhi to Doherty once again. Let's uh, see if we can uh, close these guys down a little bit. Good uh, interception there. The ball straight over to Martial, who's in on goal. Not quite getting it though, unfortunately. So a chance there. We should. But what point three it should be a goal? I'm it was a difficult opportunity, was it? Probably not. I don't think it was. Forty minutes gone. Not really many chances. We should be half a goal up at least. Son with a free kick plays it into the box. We do get it away. The Martial is going to run off with it now. We've got Rashford on the far side. Uh, Throw him through now, or Rashford's going to take the defenders away. Martial straight in on goal. That's not very good finishing. It's a good run, but not a very good finish. I'm not. I'm not impressed with that. He should be putting them away. So maybe the one on ones are not fixed. <laughs> so Pogba this time. Bruno plays it all the way back to Ndidi. Ndidi's going to hold it up and then loft it to the left hand side. Tellers with a lot of room, and it gets a ball in, and it's gone in this time. Who is it? It's Martial. He's got a goal. We're not sure what sort of goal. Uh, is it his third goal of the season already? They are allowing it. We should encourage our players to try more direct press passing. Okay, we'll do that then. But uh, Tellers with a wonderful ball in. 
And uh, Martial with the um, half volley. Is that in mid-air? We'll take it. We'll have that. Uh, we should be winning on this, judging on uh, on the XG as well. 0.74 to 0.07. So not even though the chances I've had have been, I reckon, relatively difficult. So there's probably no chance of them scoring that. But we are winning this. So it's uh, true to form, I guess. They go out there and give these fans their money's worth. Uh, we'll go with that one there. I think you're capable of even more. You weren't bad, but you could still improve. There we go. And let's start this second half then, folks. We're not doing... Are we at uh, Spurs? I'm happy with the results so far. We're keeping uh, Kane, Son um, and Bale all very quiet. Pogba looks a little bit tired, so we'll probably look to bring in either Van der Roon or uh, Fred in. Uh, Van der Beek lost the ball in, but Wan-Bissaka should be able to pick that up. Plays it back in. Sh uh, header on goal by Rashford. Uh, not quite finding uh, the back of the net, actually. Laurie's doing well to stand in its way. As uh, somebody's injured there. Kane's injured. He's playing on. Uh, it's a uh, ball straight across the pitch to Bale. Bale's, there's a runner on his outside, but we do get a tackling by Tellez. Wonderful play. Martial's on the way again. He's going to go and go. Rashford's not getting up there quick enough. He could have played it back. So, I guess... Not really fixed it that much. Right, we've got a few players that are looking a little bit jaded here. We'll go to this tactical screen instead. Right, our midfield are playing very, very well. But we're going to might bring in Van der Roon for Beek. And I'm thinking Fred there. I'm very tempted. We're, we might push Rashford up to um, advance forward. And Martial... We'll leave him as it is, but I'm, I'm looking to bring in Cavani at some point. So we'll just change the two midfielders. About 20 minutes to go. Can we hold him off? It does move us into fourth position, so that's even better. Uh, 10 minutes to go. Can we uh, make any headway into here as well? So we look at, we are uh, ahead on XG as well. Let's make one more change. I am going to take Rashford off. I'm going to bring Cavani in. And uh, let's do that. Just a quick substitution. We should be able to finish this game off. Now, 1-0. It's quite flattering on uh, Spurs' part. We should be uh, scoring more goals than that. After Liverpool thrashed them 5-1, we should have uh, done more than that. But, you know what? I'm happy with that. The XG says that we should have won, which is nice. And apart from that, nothing's really happened. Uh, Spurs really didn't uh, trouble us at all. So, I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, outstretched arms and that's a very good win for us well done lads all well, right we've got stoke in between time which we will be playing um it certainly made my life a little easier what sort of thing about do you think a goal just before half it made my life easier uh they had a great game did he i guess he did uh does move us into uh, fourth position now two for two chelsea arsenal everton are just above us now liverpool they must have drawn Everybody on two points, uh, two games. That's nice. This ticket was worth every penny. Brilliant match. Decent result. I'll be happy with that the rest of the day now. That was a good result. But I just found myself wanting to get back on the FM, on, to my FM safe. <laughs> um, thank you, uh, Jose Luis Angulu. Right, okay. Let's uh, forward on. We've got Stoke game. We'll skip past that. We'll see you at the Burnley game. We're back and uh, we had a comfortable 3-0 victory over Stoke in the third round of the Carabao Cup. Not bad at all. Expectancy, yes, uh, we literally dominated this game as you can see. Possession, 70% possession. That's nice to see. 20 shots, 8 to target, an XG of 2.89. So three goals, you would expect it then. And uh, the three goals we did get, Stoke didn't have a chance at all, did they? So can we see the goals from this? I don't think we can see the goals, can we? I assumed we could have seen the goals. I'm not sure how to get that. Uh, let's go back one. Can we not see the goals? We can play it, but we want to see the highlights. Um, I'm not sure. Do we really want to see the... If we press play, let's see what happens. It's loading up very, very quickly. Look, look smooth. Lovely stuff. Right, okay. Uh, we don't want to see the whole game. Can we just skip to the highlights? Uh, nothing really is happening here, is there? That isn't. So it doesn't look like we can see the goals, unfortunately. 
That's a shame. But that victory gave us an away tie at Leicester in the next round. We've got Burnley coming up now. And I do believe we have got the Champions League draw. But I'm not sure. I think it's either after or before the Leicester game. So we may or may not see it until the next episode where the draw will have already been made. So let's uh, move on to this Burnley game then. Straight into the tactical meeting. In fact, not just yet, I guess. Um... I'm wondering what exactly he's doing here. Uh, increase f uh, duties and uh, low crosses do it. Let's get these crosses in. We've got our players back in their positions. Brandon Williams is not fit. Uh, we put Fred up there now. Um, do, do, do. Matic is there. Henderson. Do we bring Henderson in? Let's bring Henderson in for this game. Let's mix it up a little bit. And uh, Tellers, Maguire, a sure available. Sure, it is available. We could bring him on. Uh, we'll take the hair off. Uh, sure, we could give him a chance in this game. I think we will. We'll give uh, give Tellers a little bit of a break. We'll uh, put Shaw in instead. We've got Ndidi, Rune, Pogba. I'm um, not sure whether, why, or... We'll put Fred in. We'll give Fred a game as well alongside Pogba. I might just change his position in there from a ball box to box, maybe. Do that. Pogba suited to. No, he's not. Roman. He likes to roam. And uh, let's give him a Roman. Actually, you know what? We'll give him a Zala roll in support. There we go. Nicely done. Everybody else is uh, chuffed and happy. Only a sure is just uh, lacking match sharpness. That's all we need to worry about. But apart from that, I think uh, we are good to go. Pogba's team leader, he's concerned, lacks familiarity with the formation. Get real, you've already... Oh, you... I don't understand that at all. You've been playing the formation all season so far. Dean Henderson, pleased to be making his debut. That's nice to know. We're going to give Dean Henderson probably more of the easier games that you would expect to uh, win. He should have played in the Carabao Cup, actually, to be fair, uh, which you'll probably get a game in the next one. So we'll give De Gea a little bit of a rest. Uh, Burnley, we've got Pope. Uh, me, Taylor, Cork, Stevens. We've got Rodriguez, uh, Ashley Barnes. A couple of people on the bench. Phil Bardsley. He's on the bench, so he won't be playing against his ex-team. Um, Van Der Beek. We've got a very, very strong forward um bench as well so that's nice uh, Maguire starts he's clearly enjoying his football I mean that's because he's not a uh, captain anymore Solskjaer take note uh, Cavani isn't ready for this match like this uh, this is how football should be played glad we, I've got tickets okay let's have a look into the tunnel then recommended we are the favorites here to go then give the fans that something to cheer about uh, arm stretch pump fist there we go that's uh, nothing really um of note really uh, I've just given them a little bit of faith I'm, I'm glad the faith is there can you tell us why uh, De Gea isn't in, but he's uh, no longer first choice that's stupid he didn't look sharp in training and uh, yeah we'll do that he was uh, what's the thinking behind the ex inclusion of Dean Henderson um, he's been uh, fair to do the job yeah I can do that we're at home once again let's see if we're Br if Bruno's already picked up a seven and then dropped back down again not sure what that was about are we going to get any highlights? We should encourage to play more direct person. Okay, let's do that, Mike Feeling. We must close uh, Firminia down. Okay, 23 minutes gone. Bernie with the free kick, but we've lofted it back into the centre. Cavani! Wow, what an effort that would have been. That would have been a fantastic goal to start this uh, game off, but it, it, we are 25 minutes into the game. Bernie are looking good. It, uh, troubling us a little bit, but we have got the three ball once again. Martial, one on one. He's got it on the second attempt, but we'll take it. His fourth goal of the season already. He's proven to be absolutely fantastic on this game so far. So, all's good in the world. More direct passing. Play. I thought we just did that. Uh, Martial should have buried it the first time. But uh, with four defenders around him and the goalkeeper, he does manage to get the ball out of the second attempt. So, great stuff. Everton have just taken the lead against Newcastle. One per second now with a throw in. I have taken the names off. Um, it got a little bit crowded when I was playing the um, Carabao Cup game. And I couldn't quite see the players. So this seems a little bit better. Uh, Martial, again, not quite putting the ball in the back in there. We are, I'm probably looking to bring either Greenwood or Rashford in. Cavani, getting a couple of chances. But we have moved into third spot now. 
Uh, Bruno with a corner, back post, nobody there to pick it up though. Lindelof should be able to pick that off though. Pogba in his uh, favoured position, I think, roaming around, or Mazala. Uh, wonderful play by Wambazaka there, spinning on a sixpence. Fred, ball wide, sure wasn't it? nowhere near. Tellez would have been there, I feel. We do intercept that. That's a wayward pass, though, from uh, the Burnley chap. And uh, Cavani. Oh, that's a great sliding tackle in there, I think it was. Point 0.8 to point zero eight. We should be winning this convincingly to say it. So I, mean, I mean, should that say what really it should be as opposed to what we are? I think that's what it should. I mean, possession-wise, 53%. That's, it feels like they fixed that the uh, possession, I think. Outstretch arms, pump fists. Uh, things are going, but I know you're capable even more. Uh, you weren't bad. I'm glad we could just have that one option. I've got no gestures whatsoever. We'll uh, we'll start the game again. It's a nice little um, match engine. I, I am really enjoying it. I have to say, it's a, a lot to look at though when there's not a, not a game on there, not a highlight. Uh, Bruno should be able to pick that up, and he's uh, just run off with it. He's just gone. Off you go, son. He's going for goal. He's going for goal. One on one. He's round the goalkeeper. What a fantastic goal that is. Come on. With a... I can't do that, but he's done it there. A cartwheel or a forward summer foot. There's been a goal up St. Mary's. Southampton 2-1 up. That's a little... That's nice. Notifications. But Bruno, what a run. Round the goal. The goalkeeper's just left for dead there. He's just stunned. Bruno, what a man. He is a... Big difference in this side. Absolute massive. And um, Burnley just probably don't know where to go. We're making um, Old Trafford a fortress once again. And um, oh, what a stop by Henderson though. He does need the practice. Because he will be playing in the uh, next game in the Carabao Cup away at Leicester. It's not an important competition. It will be nice to go quite far in it. But I, to be honest, it's not important. Uh, Bruno's on another run again. We're not really helping him out there. Half an hour to go. We're looking to make a probable change. Uh, Fred can come off possibly. Uh, let's have a look. Fred, you've played well. We're going to bring in... We've got Rune or Van der Beek or Matic. Um, I'm going to bring Van der Beek in. He can play there. And possibly... I'm going to bring Rashford in for Martial. Let's do that. Just two subs with half an hour to go. Let's see if we can get Rashford some uh, goals. He's not. I don't think he's scored yet this season. If he has, it's only one. Cavani spins away from his man. Lovely ball to Rashford. That's his first chance. Feel like he should have buried it. Everton are 2-0 up at Newcastle. At the moment, we're doing all right. Burnley are coming at us uh, once again. They, they get the cross in. We do get the header away, which is nice. As uh, We're coming away once again. We are very deadly on this attack. And Rashford in on goal. He's struggling for form. I'm not going to lie. We're comfortable, that's for sure. And the XG, um, yeah, 2.3 to 0.4. A relatively easy win, this. We'll take it. Excellent play. We've got a win. Uh, 2.5 in the end, uh, expected goals, and so 2.5 to half a goal. Yeah, we kind of destroyed them a little bit. 50-50 possession. They did come close to scoring a couple of goals, but not much. 6 and 4, 17. To, we're creating chances. We're just not putting the ball in the back of the net, are we, folks? Right, straight into the changing rooms. Uh, outstretched yarns. We love it. I'm happy with the way you played. Well played, lads. And uh, straight into the... Uh, Next screen, we uh, I think the um, the draw for the Euro uh, Champions League is um, after the Leicester game, so we probably won't see that. Two 0 lovely stuff. Everton win two 0 away from home. Chelsea win as well. There's no surprise results there, I guess. Chelsea winning at West Ham. That's about it. Chelsea top of the table, three for three with Everton ourselves close behind. Arsenal are behind us. Southampton, Liverpool, Man City, Tottenham are second from bottom. With no points whatsoever, but that could all change. We're going to end it here. What a cracking game that was with uh, three wins today. All with the all 2 0, 2 0, 3 0. Let's have a look when we're going to be coming back. So we've uh, got the Leicester game, we've got the West Brom. We're coming back to Everton, Sheffield United, then it looks like, folks. And then, uh, unless there's another Carabao Cup game that needs to be played, in which we won't 
go we which we won't show i guess or will we show the game i think the season is going to move on pretty quickly though if we go in every other two but we'll see how it goes obviously we want to play the cup games we'll play I'll play the latter stages i guess if we get that far but we want to concentrate more on the league we want to try and finish in the top four where we're predicted and then ho hopefully go for the title next season hopefully you enjoyed that if you do please pop a big like on there subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and until next time guys thank you very much for watching thank you